Hey guys, it's Metagosis Perfect Natus, where medicine makes perfect sense, continuing our anatomy playlist. In the previous videos, we talked about cartilages, bones, and introduction to joints, as well as the first type of joints, which is fibrous joints. Today, we'll talk about the second type of joints, which is cartilaginous joints, also known as amphiarthrosis. Why do we call them cartilaginous joints? Because the two articular surfaces are joined together via a cartilage. Could be hyaline cartilage or could be fibrocartilage. Please watch the videos in this anatomy playlist in order. A joint is an articulation between two bony surfaces. This is a picture of a synovial joint, not a cartilaginous joint, because a cartilaginous joint will have no cavity. Three types of joints, fibrous, cartilaginous, and synovial. Bones had many types. Some were compact or cancellous. Depending on the shapes, we had long bones, short bones, flat bones, irregular bones, pneumatic bones, and sesamoid bones. Cartilages had three types, hyaline, fibrocartilage, and yellow elastic cartilage. Joints also have three types, fibrous joints, cartilaginous joints, and synovial joints. Today, we're talking about cartilaginous joints which are kind of in between fibrous joints, which permit no movement whatsoever, and synovial joints, which can give you wide range of movement. If I am an in-between, I'm like an amphibian, part here and part there. Amphiarthroses are your cartilaginous joints. Bones or articular surfaces are connected together by cartilage tissue could be hyaline or fibrocartilage. Range of movement, none or very limited movement. Joint cavity, forget it. Subtypes of cartilaginous joints include synchondrosis and symphysis. Synchondroses are the growth cartilage plates, also known as epiphyseal plates, that help me grow during childhood and adolescence. These are temporary, they will ossify later in adulthood, and they permit no movement. The second subtype are the symphysis. Sim means the same. Physis means growth. Unlike the synchondroses, symphysis are permanent. Unlike synchondroses, which allow no movement, symphysis will give you limited movement. Synchondrosis had hyaline cartilage, but here we're talking fibrocartilage. Example, look, most of these examples, if not all, are in the median plane, near the midline. Pubic symphysis, of course, in the midline. Thin fibrocartilage is here. Intervertebral discs, midline. Manubriosternal junction, also midline. Costochondral junction, uh, near the midline. Look at this, here is the epiphysis. Here you'll find the epiphyseal cartilage plate, which is hyaline cartilage. What kind of joint is this? Cartilaginous joint. This hyaline epiphyseal cartilage growth plate will help me grow. Let's take it to the clinic. Fractures in children. Most of the time they are here in the shaft. No big deal. In fact, they heal beautifully during childhood, unlike adulthood. Adults do not heal as good. However, few cases of fractures in children are extremely dangerous. One example is the epiphyseal cartilage plate fracture, because this is the cartilage that lays down bone this way and this way. This is the cartilage that helps me grow. If this is damaged, my limb will not grow. And you will find a person with unequal arms or unequal legs. One is growing, the other is not, due to damage of the epiphyseal cartilage plate. This is the epiphyseal cartilage, which is hyaline cartilage. This is the articular cartilage, which is also hyaline cartilage. Cartilage has what? Type 2 collagen. Cartilage is avascular. That's why if I damage my cartilage, it's not going to regenerate. And that's why this type of fractures is dangerous. Avascular.
To learn more about joints, check out my rheumatology playlist on YouTube. We'll talk about osteoarthritis, gouty arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, scleroderma, etc. The applied anatomy is called surgery. You can learn about cardiothoracic surgery, trauma surgery, preoperative and postoperative care, pediatric surgery, general surgery, ophthalmological surgery, ENT surgery, by downloading my surgery high yields course at medicosisperfectionalist.com. The last segment in this course is my favorite, 100 questions and answers, known as Medicosis Couch Potato. You are allowed to sit on the couch, like a potato, and listen to me asking you 100 questions. You are supposed to answer all of them quickly and correctly. Let's see how you do. In the next video, we'll talk about synovial joints. So please subscribe, hit the bell and click on the join button or hit the thanks button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my premium courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.